y'all and welcome to today's video. We're gonna play with the new Bella Butte Bar, the Sun and the Sea Remastered palette. We've got multi-chromes, that makes me excited. We've got neutrals, we've got color, we're gonna swatch, we're gonna create looks. Look at this beautiful color story. Let's jump into it. <music> This is the newest palette from Bella Beauté Bar. This is the Sun and the Sea palette. So the brand did send me this palette. I'm super excited to be talking about this with y'all. I love this brand. You can check out my full playlist if you wanna see more from them, but they have just been getting better and better and better. So I was very excited to see this palette from them. We have this mermaid vibe going on and apparently they had this palette like at the start of their brand. And now that, you know, makeup has changed, they're making better formulas. They have remastered the palette. So here is what it looks like on the inside. It's got a nice big mirror. And you can see we have this like half neutral, half colorful color story in this palette. So we're, we're gonna play with this. Now, I do wanna show you swatches and a close-up of this palette. This is launching on Monday, July 24th at 12 p.m. Eastern. There's five multi-chromes, four duochromes, and nine mattes in their new formula. So, normally, I do not swatch a palette before I try it on my eyes, but I wanted to get some swatches in the sunlight. I didn't want the sun to leave. I wanted to be able to capture these shifts under the sun for y'all, as well as indoor lighting. So I did swatch this palette, but like I'm happy with it. I really wanted to take this outside in the sun and show y'all the swatches and all. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three looks with this palette because <laughs> It's just so pretty to me. Like it looks so beautiful. I really want to play with these shades. I really want to create with this and just have a good time. So now that you've seen the swatches, now that you've seen the palette, I've told you the launch date, we will play with this. Again, I'll put all the information down in the description box. I do have an affiliate code with the brand. If you ever want to save on their site, you can use code Heather. I believe there may be some exclusions from the code, like collabs and such, but in general, code Heather should save you at Bella Butte Bar and work on this palette. So I'm going to put down an eyeshadow primer zoom y'all in nice and close and we're going to create we're going to do two different eye looks today and then for look three we'll do something else of course we will okay all right time to zoom in all right i'm gonna start by priming with my sigma eyeshadow base and the shade ignite all right y'all we are going to start off with this beautiful purple shade called bikini and I just want to let you know, if you hear background noise, um, I'm keeping the door <laughs> to this room open because my dog is wanting to run back and forth between me and my son. And that's totally fine. You just might hear him running back, back and forth, back and forth. But I'm picking this up on a brush from my Sigma set. And I'm putting this all above and below my socket. I'm gonna press it on this outer part of my lid, buffing it out, buffing it up, buffing it around the town, all the things, <laughs> all the things. I am gonna put this purple on the inner part of my lid as well. I'm not worried about this spot in the center. We're gonna cover that up with something else, but I want this to be all in here. And don't worry, we're gonna do some more blending trust the process but we're just going to keep the purple just like this for now okay now what i want to do is go into mesmerizing this is a beautiful shifty shade i've tried my best to show all the shifts and everything in my swatches but you can also 
see a little bit in the mirror if you look from the palette to the mirror but I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna spray my brush I usually spray my shimmers just to make them like the most intense I can and I'm going to put this right on the lower lash line and I'm gonna find a brush pick up my shadow and then spray my brush and then we'll apply and I'll probably add a little powder because I feel like I'm getting just a little dewy it is so hot here today and I like did my makeup and then I ran outside to do swatches and stuff and I'm like I'm literally sweating I've been outside like 60 seconds so I think I'm gonna powder just a little bit um and we'll do this lower lash line okay so I've got my brush this is a Sigma makeup Shayla collab brush and I'm going to put this under the lower lash line like that and you see like I'm not blending yet I will blend in a minute but I'm pressing it on first like this getting it all off my brush and then I will go in and I will blend back and forth sometimes I think it's fun to have like sparkle duochrome multi-chrome shifty shadows on the lower lash line I usually normally typically <laughs> go for a matte lower lash line but you know sometimes it's fun to throw a little sparkle on okay I am loving this we are looking purple we are purple in today I want to use this shade right here this is called tan lines and we are going to buff along this purple just to kind of diffuse it so it kind of like whew, just like fades out you know so let's try this I just you know I really 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 enjoy Bella Butte bar I feel like I said earlier they just keep getting better and better and I like that they have kind of a mix of small palettes, large palettes. I just think it's really nice. And they seem to do a good job of like restocking things, doing pre-orders when stuff sells out. I just had a good experience. And as a customer too, I know I said this palette was sent to me and it it was I would have purchased it how they had they not sent it to me but I have also bought things myself from the brand and I've had a good customer experience I'm just going back with that purple brush that we use not purple brush but brush with the purple and just like making sure I have a good blend how I want I mean I want it to be like a purple eye I want the drama so I don't want to over blend but I'm just gonna go kind of back and forth between that and that tan line shade. This is another brush from my Sigma set. I always have it linked in my description box as well as my Unearthly collab, all of that. If you're ever looking for information, it's usually in the description box. Okay, I am going to take, let's see, this shade right here, Sunset. This multi-chrome. I'm gonna see let me turn it and see if you can see it kind of looks like this red burgundy orange almost a little like raspberry purple I don't know it's called sunset I'm gonna pick it up on my brush from my Sigma set once again I'm gonna coat the brush I'm gonna spray the brush and we're gonna pop it right here in the center of my lid where I left that spot blank and you know what I'm actually gonna put down a little bit of like extra adhesive let me look I have the Bella Butte bar shimmer stay eyeshadow primer potion and I love this for shimmers and like extra tacky base so I'm gonna dot that there I'm gonna blend it in a little bit and then we'll go in with our shimmer to make it like extra poppy okay I'm gonna stay looking down into my mirror and I'm gonna tap this shade off of my brush right on to that primer potion but I want to tap before I blend 
Okay, I'm keeping it right in here. I really want to keep the inner and outer part of the lid mat. I want to keep the crease mat. I'm just using this shade in the center. And now I'm going to like fill in all my wrinkles and crinkles by blending kind of back and forth, making sure I get all in there just like that. That's really pretty. Oh, I like this very much. I really am enjoying the way that's looking. Okay, this palette, these three shades would be beautiful on in the inner corner, wouldn't they? They would. I want to go actually with a little bit of a darker inner corner though. And I'm going to take this shade Sandcastle. I mean, it's not dark, but it's going to be a darker inner corner on my skin tone. And I think it's going to be pretty. I'm going to pick it up on a brush from my Sigma set, but I'm not going to spray my brush. I'm not going to really do a lot with this. I just want to get that sparkle on. So since this brush is like tapered and fluffy, it's going to do a good job of like fluffing that sparkle right there in my inner corner. Oh yeah, just like that. I think this is where we're going to leave the look. It was just what, one, two, three, four, five shades. Just five shades of shadow, but I like it. I think it's pretty. Of course, I'll do liner and lash, but first I want to do this eye. Uh, I'm going to put my eyeshadow primer on and then I have been using, it's so hot, resisting the urge to put my hair up. I am going to use the A506. That's what I was using at the beginning to blend in the eye primer. So I'm going to prime again and we'll do something. Um, I think we'll play with these blue mattes over here on this side. Okay, we're primed and ready. And I, for this eye, I wanna do something like this, like similar, but different shades. And we're, we're gonna, we're, we'll do it a little differently. We'll do it a little differently, but it's gonna be the same kind of placement of shades. So I'm gonna start off first with Caribbean right here. This is a beautiful, beautiful blue shade. I'm gonna pick this up on another one of my Sigma brushes and we'll put this all in our socket. I'm not going to worry about bringing this down into the lid though. You hear my dog? A delivery driver must be here or maybe, you know, somebody on our street is walking their dog and he's just not happy about it. Okay, so I have that blue kind of blown out. I think this is really pretty. Very pigmented, very easy to work with though because sometimes you get a shadow that is easy to blend but you don't have enough pigment and it just ends up blending away. And then sometimes you have a shadow that is too pigmented and it clings and it doesn't want to blend. And when it comes to blue shadow, I, I need it to be good like beyond good i need it to be where i need it to be pigmented and blendable and this is a 10 out of 10 blue you know like that was so easy to work with so i'm very happy about that i want to go in now with the shade waves and i want to put this on the lower lash line so over here we did that sparkly lower lash line in this palette we're going to do a matte i'm going to take another brush from my set and i will say there's no pressed glitters in this palette i'm sure you could tell from the swatches that there aren't pressed glitters but I just want to clarify because I, I do get questions sometimes, you know, especially with these really sparkly shades asking if they're pressed glitters. And no, whenever I have a palette with a pressed glitter, I will, I'll, I will let you know because that's definitely something to consider. But no pressed glitters here. Okay, now we're going to go in with this last blue over here called Deep Dive. I want to dip into this one and we are going to put this on the outer corner here 
and the inner corner here of the lid. So not the inner corner of my eye, but the inner part of my lid, I should say. That's a better explanation. But here, how we did this with just the one purple shade, how we have kind of the purple here and on the lid, I'm gonna do it with two different shades on this eye and we'll get more like contrast with our look. Just, just a little bit diff different technique. I like the fact that we have three different blue mattes in this palette. I think that like lets us do kind of a variety of blue looks or just a look with a pop of blue. I'm kind of, kind of into that. I know that maybe in the pan, like some of the shades like may look similar. That's why when I did my swatches, I tried to like swatch the neutral matte browns together and I tried to swatch the blues together so that you could really like see for yourself how they look next to one another swatched out. And then you can see on the eyes for sure, like this blue that I'm working with now has almost more of like a violety purple tone to it. So I think it'll be pretty with that other matte we used on our other eye as well. It'll go really beautifully, I think. And of course, like blue and brown always look beautiful together. So I don't know, just looking at this palette, I feel like I could get a lot of looks out of it. And I am happy about that, okay. Let me make sure I'm nice and blended and then we will go in with something beautiful on the lid. Okay, I want to incorporate three of these sparkly, shimmery, shifty shades. I, I like how this bottom row is laid out. We're not going to be using this water nymph, although I think it would be beautiful, but I do wanna use these other two blue shades. So I wanna use Siren. It, it's shifty, like it shifts from this to the purple. Let me see again if I can show you in the mirror. Kind of, just as it moves, you can see right there. So we have Siren and then Tide Pool. I think this is a duochrome one, really pretty. We're gonna use Siren, we're gonna use Tide Pool, and then we're gonna use Sunkissed also. Can you see the shift in this one? Probably better to see that in the swatches, I think. But it has this green, blue, white, gold to it that I think is gonna be really pretty. So I'm gonna start out with the shade Siren and we're gonna put that here in the middle of the lid. But first I'm gonna put down some of that uh, Shimmer Stay. Okay, so I'm gonna take that Siren shade and press it on my lid. <sighs> Blue purple is so pretty. It is honestly just so pretty to me. And I'm doing the same technique, pressing the shimmer on like this. And then once it's pressed on, I will go and blend to make sure as my like lid moves, I have all of that covered. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh. I just love, I just love, I just love so much this sparkle, this shift. It just brings me joy. Indie, listen y'all, indie brands, independently owned brands, like they are, they just, they bring the magic, they bring the magic. What, what am I doing? Okay, okay. Now I wanna put a little bit of that Tide Pool shade, the deeper blue sparkle, on the inner part of the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go on top of this blue matte right here. I'm gonna use my, okay, so the brush I used for the lid shade was a part of my set, but now I'm gonna use a Sigma E65, and this is gonna go like this shade here. I'm gonna pick up the blue, spray my brush, and then apply it. Okay, we got the sparkle. I'm using this small angled brush because I want to keep this sparkle where I put it. I want it to go on top of that mat, just right in here, just right in here. And I will clean up any fallout later. 
I don't really care about Fallout, um, just FYI, but spraying the brush definitely helps minimize any fallout you may have. But if you're someone who really cares about fallout, I always encourage you, like, please do your eyes before you do your face makeup. I'm feeling this. Let's highlight the inner corner, though, with the shade Sun Kissed that I said we were going to use earlier. This is definitely like a white, green, blue type of shade even a little bit of like gold green I don't know very special I'm gonna use E34 for this and I'm just going to kind of pack that on my inner corner whereas over here I kind of like fluffed the inner corner shade on for it to be like sparkly ethereal this I want it to be a little more impactful so I'm kind of like pressing it on to the inner corner and this, th these will be our looks. These will be our looks. Now, of course, I myself feel like a bold lash is going to look really cool with these. So I'm going to do liner. I'm going to do a lash. And then I will come back so you can see. I'll tell you what else I have on my face and let you see how the looks come together with liner and lash. All right, y'all. Here are our finished looks we'll say look one we'll say look two over here i just put on some black eyeliner and a lash and i feel so good in these looks i love color i love sparkle like i just feel so myself in a sparkly multi-chrome you know like i'm feeling this look of course this is like the first time I am playing with these shades this palette literally got to me today so you know I always do like follow-up reviews and I'm never trying to convince you to buy anything either you want to buy I know buy awesome shop your stash I'm just out here giving my thoughts and opinions and maybe giving you some inspiration but Every single shade I used so far, stunning, 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 stunning. And I do want to tell you some of the other things that are on my face in case you are curious. Again, I try to link everything I can in the description box, but my lip trio is the Cookies and Cream trio from the Glam Light Hershey cookies and cream. Yes, that's what I said. I was going to say, I wanted to say Hershey's Kisses, but it's not that. It's the Hershey's and cream. All three. Lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss. For bronzer, I kind of like shopped my stash and I pulled out the Melt Bronzer, the Ultra Matte Powder Bronzer in Santa Cruz. Um, I haven't used this one in a while, so I'm like, let me shop my stash, pull that out. I am wearing my Sephora Colorful Blush in the shade 51 Trust Yourself. And I, of course, am wearing my Bella Butar, Butar, Bute Bar. I just tried to combine those words. I'm wearing the Oracle Chrome Highlighter Palette. Still a favorite. This was in my yearly favorites for 2022. Yes, because we're in 23 now. And it's still a favorite. I still love it. I'm wearing uh, the High Priestess and the Star. I just kind of mix those. So that's the highlight that I've been wearing. So that's what's on my cheeks. That's what's on my lips. Here is look one. Here is look, nope, here. Nope, that's look one. Here is look two. <laughs> I'm like, I've got to, got to do opposites. Okay, but I do want to create a neutral look. I want to play with some more of these shades. We're going to dip into the pans up here. So... I'll be back. We'll do that. Okay, y'all. We are back for a neutral look. And I want to play with all of these brown matte shades. So this shade right here is a matte with a little tiny bit of like gold sparkle in it. We're going to blend that shade today. So that sparkle will go away. But if you want to keep it, you can definitely like pack your shade on. But I want to kind of layer some mattes. I want to play with these. 
and we're gonna start with Beach Babe. This matte with the sparkle that's really pretty. We have a lighter shade here. We have a more warm orangey brown here, and then we have our deeper shade, but I wanna start with this shade right here, Beach Babe. Okay, my eyes are already primed for shadow. I'm just gonna tap out any creases, and I'm picking this up on my blinged brush, and I'm going to just put this all here in my kind of socket crease. I'm gonna blend it up and out. Okay, I want to deepen up the outer corner a little bit with this shade right here called Basque. I'm gonna pick that up and I want to put it right here on the lid and then I'm gonna take it up and I'm gonna layer it on top of that first shade we started with and just kind of blend out here a little bit under the lower lash line but we're gonna keep this mostly focused on our outer corner right out here just pressing and blending okay I'm gonna move on to the lower lash line and we're gonna use this shade right here this is called overexposed and then I may buff out a little bit with this shade right here called sunbathe Okay, so I've got overexposed and I'm just putting that on the lower lash line. Again, I'm just using my blinged brushes and I'm going to drag that back and forth. There we go, just like that. And then I think I'm gonna dip just a little bit into sunbathe and blend it a little lower with that lighter, less warm shade. Still warm, but not quite as orangey and I'll just go back and forth with these. Okay, I'm loving how this looks kind of blown out. And now it's time for us to go in with some sparkle, some multi-chrome. So I'm gonna use Heat Wave right here. This shade is like this orangey, bronze, red, shifting color, really pretty. And then Daydream, which is like gold, green, yellow, bronze, something a little bit lighter than Heat Wave. And then I want to also use Water Nymph. We haven't used this one yet, and it looks like this like white to pink type of reflect. So we are going to play with those shades, Heat Wave, Daydream, and Water Nymph. I am going to spray my brush, and we're gonna start with Heat Wave. Okay, I wanna put this shade on my lid oh that looks so pretty fiery i'm going to put this on my lid i'm gonna bring it up and i'm not gonna take it over that matte shade that we have on the outer part of our lid just keeping it all right in here so like two two thirds of the lid something like that Okay, so I've got the shade Daydream on an EO5 from Sigma, this really small brush. And I'm going to just add a little bit of this shade right here. It's not going to be super impactful because I wanna keep it on this like small area. But doing this and just adding this in will give the look a little dimension, especially like as I go about the rest of my evening and this like catches the light. It's just gonna be a little something extra right here, but definitely not like a game changer to the look, you know? All right, I'm taking a little bit of that shade Water Nymph right here on my inner corner. And that's gonna finish off our kind of bronzy, fiery, smoky eye. I like when I wear neutrals and I have different like formulas, different textures, things like that going on. So I'm really feeling this. I'm really feeling this. I'm gonna put on some liner. Whoop, I just, I just like flung shadow off my brush. <laughs> I'm gonna put on a lash and then I will be back. But this is gonna be our third look. All right, y'all, here is our finished look. I added some brown eyeliner 
and a lash and I'm loving this look. I am loving this look. I feel like it's fiery, warm, neutral vibes and I'm here for it. Let me tell you some of the other makeup I have on though so I don't forget and then I want to talk about this palette. I have on my Melt Bronzer again. I have Martine Cosmetics Neon Nitro Speed Face Palette. I'm wearing the orange blush from this one very lightly and like very lightly applied you know and then i'm wearing the oracle chrome highlighter palette again but i mixed the moon and the sun more so used the sun um for this look but i did dip a little into the moon as well and my lip combo is actually unearthly cosmetics lip pencil and cursed and I kind of lightly filled in my lips with this as well. And then I went on top with my Givenchy Rose Perfecto Lip Balm in the shade 110. So that is kind of the other color products on my face. But let's, let's talk about this palette. I know a lot of y'all have been waiting for another smaller palette because we had some palettes that were smaller kind of in this format at the end of last year and then this year we have seen the larger palettes from the brand so i know a lot of y'all were waiting on a smaller palette and i'm excited to see this format too i really really liked every single shade i used every single shade in these three looks now of course i'm gonna keep using it keep playing with it and i will put this in a palette speed review video where i follow up and let you know like after i've used it a little bit longer you know but i was able to use every shade today i do feel like i know the brand pretty well and every shadow is beautiful Every single shadow is beautiful. I love the tones. I love the shades, like the color story of this palette. I feel like they all work together so well. And I'm really looking forward to working with this palette again. I like it very, very much. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe. I have lots of videos coming this week. If you want to make sure I stay on your subscription feed and you don't miss out on my videos, just make sure you subscribe. Like this video if you liked it. And... I hope you're having an amazing day. I do hope your day is good and I will see you soon like tomorrow in a new video. Bye.